Hey, no. How are you? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. All right. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you, teacher? I'm doing good. And you? How was your day? Uh, very nice day. Tell me, what happened today? Yes. Every day, I'm very happy, very busy in my home. Very busy today. Yes. I, I go... Uh, I went uh, uh, travel because my uh, my job my my boss uh, uh, me, ¿cómo digo? me solicitó teacher. Me soltó. Solicitó. Me, ah, me congratulated me. Congratulated me. Mm -hmm. Congratulating me, uh, trámite, trámite, ¿cómo se dice trámite? Depends, trámite for what? It's trámite not... de impuestos, hacienda. Ah, okay, process, the tax process. Oh, the tax process, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Maria, Jaime, how are you? How are you guys? Luis was, no, was telling me about the good day today that he, the boss says, no, you are the most amazing person. Maria Sigüenza, Jaime Reyes. Yes, yes, those are the two, but I think in this moment they are still connecting. Yes. So, no, go ahead and tell me. Uh, your boss said good job uh, why what, what happened what was different or special uh, in my case yes uh, accounting. I'm accounting. yes. Uh -huh. yes but why why the congratulations a uh, con uh, the congratulations because you save money, you discover the money, and you make the process faster. Why your boss was happy, no? Ah, uh, uh, because uh, uh, my responsibility is the control of the finances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The finances and um, uh, coordinator the different activity and every day my boss is very very nice with me with my co-worker and the company okay and is is normal your boss is nice or no uh, normal yes only uh, almost always always is very nice ah, that's good then it's good to have uh, an opportunity to work with a nice boss yes uh, because uh, I I want uh, no 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 because uh, me, me, me too. Uh, eh, ¿Cómo le digo? Permítame. The, repeat the what? Eh, because eh, he, he, see in my person, mm -hmm. in my person, very responsibility, responsibility, responsibility. 
responsibility. Very much responsibility. Uh -huh. responsibility. Uh, then, uh, how much is communi communication between between us? Between us. Okay. Between us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, that's great. It's good when the people say, hey, good job, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, today we're going to go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be looking at the different tenses, past, present, and future tense. In this moment, let me share with you the screen so we can understand what is the topic for today. Noi, can you please read the objective? Of course, you say. In this class, do we be exposed to an um, audio where ex examples of past, present, and future the tenses are uses? Okay. So remember, in past is not only one form, in present is not only one form, and in future is not only one form. There are different forms. Today we're going to see some examples so that we can use them together. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay. Tell me, what did you understand they're talking about? What are the changes? Neighbor teacher, neighborhood sure has changed. Okay, good. So the neighborhood is where you live. Merliot, Santa Tecla, El, eh, Soyapango, Santa Ana. Not the city, but in the community. This is the neighborhood. Okay. And what are some of the things that they mentioned? What are some of the topics that they say has changed? Hello, teacher. Hello, Maria. Uh, they say uh, years ago, many people lived there. And now? And, uh, but now the population are grow, growing fast. Okay. So before more people or less people? Before men. Uh, less people. Less people. Good. Good. So that's it. Let's listen ag again to the conversation. What do they say in the WhatsApp group? You can see the conversation. A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to <clears> build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Uh. What else were the differences? What happened many years ago?
the same like in El Salvador. What is the yeah. difference? What what changed? Hey, teacher, because in the Salvador, uh, very company, uh, I did the land um, construction in different space in all country where uh, uh, construction the center uh, small small in and the new in the new space in the different city and they uh, building small okay all right so yes one of the things is the mall that before not a lot of malls now we have la gran via uh, multiplaza la cascada a lot of malls in the same area one the same like in the conversation what else did they say in the conversation what are the other changes in the conversation what about the transportation what do they say about transportation Uh -huh, Juan, what did you understand? For example, if I am that, I read say five years ago, the people walk in the street, but at the moment, uh, the people only use a car. Okay, good. No five years, but yes. It is 50 years ago. Oh, okay. 50. But good, that's the idea. Now, let's listen. What other information do they say? Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. So what else changed in the conversation? What else did they say changed? The the bookstore is a pizzeria. Correct. The bookstore was a pizzeria. Excellent. That is the idea for today. Today we're going to be looking at the past, the present, and the future. How the things have changed. Okay. So we want to be able to describe. In this moment, we're going to go with our partners and we're going to talk about your neighborhood. How was it before? How is it now? And how do you imagine in the future? The three tenses, past, present, future. Any questions? Any questions for vocabulary? Not the truth. Not the truth. No? Not the truth. Okay. Remember, your neighborhood, past, present, and future. Maria, you okay?
José María. Concepción, I put you into the group. Yes, teacher, I have problems. Okay, no problem. Concepción, did you connect or no?
Okay, guys, any questions? Any vocabulary? Yes, there's a question. No? Arturo, did you have a question? No. Yes. I have a question, teacher. Ah, go ahead, no. What is the meaning and uh, no with it? No with it. Nowadays is is common in this time. This oh, is nowadays. This time. Mm -hmm. okay, you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Tearing down, teacher. What does that mean? Tearing down. Repeat. Tearing down. Sitting down. Uh, Tearing, tearing down. Yes, I'm going to put in the chat. See, and make sure it's correct. Is that? No. No. Is T I. Hold on. T I. Uh, uh, sorry. T E A R I N G. Tearing down. Yes. Thank you. Tearing down means destroying or destructing. So for example, the building, no more building. The, the building is uh, destroyed. This is tearing down. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Destroying. Teacher. Destroying. How, how do you say in, in English, calle pavimentada? <laughs> huh? Is paved. A paved street. Paved street. Paved Correct. Street. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Jaime, how do you say calle no pavimentada? Um. No, not pavement street. No, Jaime, but good idea. The way is dirt road. Dirt road. <laughs> Completely yeah. different, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yes. So, for example, maybe like you, Jaime, me, when I was a baby, the street in front of my house was a dirt road. But later, many years later, it was a paved street. Como decir de tierra. Yes, okay, this is thank correct. You. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and continue with our past, present, and future, but with a different objective. Jose Arturo, can you please read the objective in the next activity? Okay. Okay. Um... At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. Ah, so we already practiced how to use in the past, how to talk about now and the future. Now we're going to put contrast, opposite ideas between the times. Let's watch and listen to a small video about time contrast, 4.3 in the platform. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts, past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. So we can see three different time contrasts. 
a few years ago. Ah. Indicate before and now. These days, indicate in this moment. Soon, indicate for the future. These are the words that we use. The same for the other expressions. The expression used to is the idea before and now no. Today, the idea is in the present. The expression in is for the future. In five years, in 10 minutes, in is for the future. And then of course, the words like a go. Always when you listen a go is the past. Five hours ago, two days ago in the past. When you hear they, the nowadays is in this moment, in this time period. And then of course, the future is the future. Let's listen to how we pronounce all of those time contrasts. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past. Okay, here it's important to take notes so that way it's clear what you can use. When you express the past, you're going to use at that time, in the past, or then, right? Because in the practice with your partners, you have to use a different time expression. Past, then, present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Okay, these are the ones that we use for this moment. These are the ones that we're talking about the present, okay? So, Carla, how do we say, uh, Actualmente in English. How do we say actualmente, Carla? Mm, currently. Correct. No, actually. Actually, it's not actualmente. But it sounds like actualmente, but it's not. The correct is like Carla said, currently. This is actualmente. All right. And in the meantime or now, this is for the present. Now, future expressions in the next couple of years, next in the near future. Okay, let me put again so that you can take a look. You see the word next for the future or near. Okay, all of those are for future tense. In the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Okay, I'm going to take a picture and put that into the chat. You are going to make six sentences with your partner. You want to complete those sentences with your opinions and with your ideas. As an example, I'm going to tell my partner with the first one. Ah, as a child, I used to watch cartoons after school because my favorite cartoons was Thundercats. And I, you see, not only the sentence small, no, uh, 
As a child, I used to watch cartoons. No, 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 no. No basic questions, no basic sentences. Complete sentences with details and a story. Another example. Five years ago, I, I used to, and or five years ago, I worked at a different school and I had to study at the same time. I woke up at five o'clock and then the different, but with details. It's okay, all of those? Any questions about any of those? You're going to make the six. Remember, it's in the WhatsApp group also. You're going to make the six, okay. And then you're going to try to complete them with your opinion. We have past, present, and future. Before we make the groups, any questions, any vocabulary? All clear. All clear? All clear. Okay. okay. Let's make our little groups and we want to make all of those sentences with details. Remember, that's the most important, with details. Okay.
Make sure you do it. Okay, any questions, any vocabulary or pronunciation or words? Teacher? Uh huh. Uh, the pronunciation, uh, I might. Correct, I might. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Now let's practice the sentences together. Teacher. Yes, Ana Maria. Uh, shy. A child is no is bigger than a baby. The child is okay. like when the person goes to school. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Okay, good. So, as you can see, 4.3, we have time contrast. Now, I want you to have, we have these ideas. Let's listen. No, as a child. Ana Maria, five years ago. Uh, Jose Arturo nowadays and Walter next year. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, number one, as a child, I used to wear house. I used to? Wear. Build house. Good. Build houses. Good. All right. Correct sentence. Good. Ana Maria. Uh, one minute, teacher. Okay. Jose Arturo, nowadays. Uh, okay, teacher. And um, five years uh, ago, I I go I no I travel to another country. 
Is correct or no? It's correct, Anna. It's correct. Yeah, okay. the, yes, the going no, but it's correct okay. the others. Yes. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um, nowadays, I am an um, English student. Correct. Good. Walter, next year. Uh, the next year, I'm going to visit uh, Guatemala. Good. Carla, uh, in five years. Okay, in five years, I will be healthier than now. Good. Jaime, in 10 years. Hello, teacher. Go ahead. Oh, teacher, I I connect in my cell phone. No problem. But in ten years, I might. Uh, sorry, teacher. Might what's the meaning? Might maybe. Tell me. Oh, in ten years, I might. Uh, mm, uh, I, 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 I speak English very, very well. Okay, Jaime, again, give me the sentence fluently, go. Okay, okay. In 10 years, I might speak English very well. Good, all right. Ana Maria, as a child. I am, as a child, I used to, um, um, a toy. I used to, and then you need the activity. I used to ah. play. Mm -hmm. I used to. Uh, Try again. Try again. I need your help. Uh, any activity what did you do as a child for example as a child um, i used to ride my bicycle as a child um, i used to play with barbies what activity did you do as a child um uh, as a child i used to uh, uh play a play a oh no sé cómo se dice parque yes you know how to say parque parque how do you say it? I used to. Mm -hmm. uh, es que yo quería decir cu uh, cuando era niño, ¿verdad? Este... This is a, as a child. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Cuando era niño. Eh, yo jugaba en el parque, no sé cómo. Yes, say it. It's uh -huh. okay. I used to I... play a park. Good. That's it. As a child, I used to play in the park. In the park. Yeah. Okay, now tell me fluently, go. I guess I, as a child, I used to play a park. Play in a park. park. In a park. Good. All right, Juan Linares, five years ago. Another activity? No, Juan, for Juan Linares. Esa no la hice, teacher. Ah, esa no la hice. Cabal, mm. cuando sí. pregunten, ¿eh, ¿qué es esa no la hice? La otra, sí. Ay, Juan. All right, Juan. <laughs> All right. No problem. Now we have the idea. With our partners, we are going to complete 4.4. In 4.4, we have eight statements eight statements we are going to read with our partner and select what is the best options. We have a lot of options. So with our partners, 4.4, you read and you choose which is the best to complete the sentence. Okay.
Maria, you okay? You didn't join any group. Maria, you okay? Teacher, tengo problemas con la conexión. Um, yes, I saw it's like three times you try to connect, but let's try one more. Let's see if we can connect, okay? Okay. Okay.
Oh, came. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Let's take a look and check. That way tomorrow we can begin with the next topic. Number one, what was number one? People didn't travel that much from the city to city. Okay, good. Number two? People used to shop at small stores. Okay, good. Number three? People play the first game of golf. Number four? People work people more, work than more than 40 hours, 40 hours a week. Good. Number five? Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Number six? Most people are going Most to work people. at home. People play the first game of golf. So look, number six, soon is mm -hmm. present, past, or future? Future. Future. Mm -hmm. So which one would be with the future? There will um, probably be city in space. Okay. The pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. Which one? The space or the, pollution. Or the pollution? Pollution is becoming. Yes, yes, pollution. Okay, yes, we'll try. Probably. Don't worry. In the next hundred years, doctor might find a cure for the common cold. Okay, and number eight, sometime in the future. There will, be there will probably be, be science in the space. space. All right, let's take a look. I think most of them are correct, but here, numbers eight, correct. Number seven, correct. Number six, not correct. Number six is soon most people are going to work at home. Mm -hmm. Number five is correct. Number four, correct. Number three, great. Two, exactly. And number one, good. Only one mistake. I think that's excellent. So that means that tomorrow we are ready to practice and begin another topic about more things we're speaking. Yes? Okay, yes. Yes. Excellent, guys. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.